Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. This is Katie and if you're new here, hi, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing if you enjoyed today's video. And if you're back, welcome back. Today, if you couldn't guess, we are going to be doing a post review of one of my recently finished projects. <laughs> I am super excited to be sharing this one with you guys. So without further ado, look at this beautiful, beautiful piece with all of that lovely, gorgeous sparkle. I love it. So this is the beautiful Kaori, which I may be mispronouncing, from the company Craft Ease. It is legally licensed from the artist Sybil Art. Um, in case you were concerned or curious, there was a little bit of confusion and back and forth at one point because Sybil Art is licensed to another diamond painting company as well. And there was, oh, they had to kind of go back and forth a little bit to confirm that she was good to also have diamond painting kits with crafties. So this is all above board, <laughs> um, just in case you were concerned. This kit is 40 by 50 centimeters. It has, let me double check, 27 colors, three of which are an included enhancement special drill, crystals actually. And again, suffice it to say, I am, blown away and so, 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 so happy with this finished canvas. This is not normally my go-to aesthetic or color scheme. Um, if you are at all familiar with me and what I gravitate toward, it tends to be more muted tones, pinks, um, and whimsical, which I guess this is whimsical, but I, like less contrast, that sort of thing. And this is the opposite of most of that. But this piece kept speaking to me and I thought, well, I guess I better answer the call. Sorry, bad puns. Anyway, <laughs> so I ordered this from Crafties. It came, I will have to double check how long it took to get here. I'll insert it here on the screen for you. But I wanna say I ordered it and it shipped right away. It shipped from China and was here within a few weeks. They, um have a variety of diamond painting kits on their website, including a number from Sybil Art. And they do offer some discount codes like first time buyers codes and that sort of thing. So I will um, include a link to their website. I recommend signing up for their emails and you can keep up to date with new releases and what have you. One of the reasons I especially wanted to try out this company and this kit was because I was so intrigued by the idea of them including special drills and charting them out for you. I'm the kind of person that, frankly, I prefer if someone tells me exactly where to put my special drills. I have a hard time being one of those people that is very creatively minded and can just look at a kit and go, okay, I wanna add some enhancements here and here. Let me go add, order some sparklers from DP with sparklers or some ABs from this kit or you know whatever. And here are some spots I wanna put them. There have been a lot of content creators that have done really, really helpful and fabulous videos on how to go about enhancing your canvas, but it's just not quite how my brain works. So I was so drawn to the idea of, well, they're gonna tell me exactly where to put the gorgeousness and I am so, so happy with what they decided. So the three special drills that came with this kit, let me see if I can show you. It's a little hard to tell the difference between the two shades of yellow. This isn't a bad spot to show you. So if you take a look here, there's a lighter, just a slightly lighter shade of yellow here in the corner and then it's surrounded on either side by a deeper, almost gold shade of yellow. And then there's a clear color there as well. And these were used basically to enhance the outlines of everything. And I love that the bumblebees, can we talk about these bumblebees for a second? I love that the bumblebees just have this effect all throughout them. I think it's in 
incredible. I love, love, love how it gives a metallic effect. When I shared this on, over on my Instagram account, some progress pictures, I had multiple people ask, oh, are those like the old gold sparklers, like a metallic sheen that you can get from DP with sparklers or that some other companies sometimes send as part of their special treatments? They look like they have a metallic finish to them, but they are crystals. And I love that. It looks, it reads as gold to me. I think it's because there's two different shades of yellow. It gives it a little bit more depth. I love it. The clear, clear crystals outline her profile and I think make it pop and just look incredible. I love how well, in my opinion, I feel like they really, did a nice job of rendering this piece at this size. Because as I mentioned, it's 40 by 50 centimeters. It's not large by any means. But I think that they, I really have to think that they hand charted this because it seems to be really just smooth. You know, even her hair, it doesn't look choppy. It looks very wavy and, um, organic, I suppose. So I, I love that a lot. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm very, very happy with this kit. The symbols were very easy to read. The one trouble that I ran into is not even remotely a deal breaker for me because I find it to be the case whenever I am working with kits with crystals. And that is that I feel like the crystal drills and a lot of special drills in general, it's almost like they get just a little bit dirty or dusty or something um, in the manufacturing process or something because I feel like I'd change my wax out fairly often with this kit, particularly in places that I was placing these crystal drills. And my multi-placer has the white museum putty, the Quakehold museum putty in it. And that looked dirty so quickly. I don't know what it is, but again, this is something I have found to be the case on basically every crystal drill kit or kit that includes those drills. Um, so that's not something that I hold against crafties. I didn't really have trouble with the regular drills, which that was nice. So, like I said, the symbols were clear and I had drills left over. Let me show you. There were a couple of colors that I felt like I came close to running out on. And I did also notice if you happen to see the unboxing for this kit, which I will include a link to up in the eye in the cards, as well as in the description below, um, there were two bags of colors that the seal hadn't like been completed in the middle. And so two colors had mixed entirely together. It was the red, this red and this gold. It was a little bit of a pain to separate them out, but not a big deal. And as it turned out, they included a whole extra bag of that oops, gold crystal drill, I think because they had thought, oh, well, we just wanna make sure you have enough. But um, there were a couple of colors I just started to feel a tiny bit nervous on running out of, but no, I didn't run out of any. Even as I'm looking here, I'm like, oh, well, I'm not seeing any. <laughs> you know, I, there were some that I only had a handful of, but frankly, like this, there was only a handful of these in the canvas. If you're curious about the storage system that I have here, this is the Beadsmith storage system. I worked on this kit out of this storage system as part of a um, sort of a test that I was doing on some different storage kits that are similar to Elizabeth Ward. Uh, if you're curious to see that video, I will also link that up in the eye. You can go take a look and I talk a lot more about in detail about this specific storage kit and what it was like to work with. Um, let's see. Yeah, the drill quality was very, very good. I had very little trash, even in the dark colors. This is the 939. I mean, they're round drills, so they, generally speaking, are less trash prone, but I'm happy to say that 
I didn't I had plenty of drills and very little trash so I suppose I was worried I was gonna run out of these clear special drills but they're so sparkly you can see my ring light reflection a little bit <laughs> so I love the colors I just I'm so happy with it you guys if you couldn't tell if you're curious I will try to pull a picture of the original artwork to put up on the screen here that you can compare to this uh, so here's the original artwork from Sybil Art and here is the Crafties rendered version so I would be so curious to hear your thoughts um, this was a poured glue canvas, no issues with the stickiness. Um, this is, <laughs> my washi tape is peeling up the edges. That's the washi tape's fault. It's not, <laughs> that's me, not crafties. Um, yeah, I'd be curious to hear your thoughts, what you think of the rendering and seeing it, some of the details in here. I thought they did a nice job with her hair. Here's another bumblebee. It looks gold. Those crystal drills read as gold and I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Look at her flower earring. I love it. So the cost on this, I feel like was maybe, a, it was a little bit on the high side, I felt like for the size, um, though I used a discount code, I think it was for 20% off for first time purchases. I'll double check on that. So um, I also had to pay shipping, but I feel like given that a huge number of drills in this kit were special drills, like you're getting that, you are paying for legally licensed artwork. Civil Art, I had messaged her and, you know, when I was confirming that this was all above board, she's obviously being fairly compensated for her work. Um, and it seems like Crafties is adding new kits from her at like a couple of times a month, I feel like I see them add a new one and get an email for it. So I am absolutely planning to order more kits from Crafties. Overall, I am so, 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 so happy with my experience. I'm thrilled with the finished product. I really enjoyed this way more than I was expecting to. Um, and I love it. I love that I stepped outside of my comfort zone and that it, in my opinion, that it paid off, that it, it turned out well. So feel free to share in the comments what your thoughts are. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, of course, I read all my comments and try to get back to them as quickly as I can. I will link to this kit in the description if you want to go check it out for yourself um, as well. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up before you click away. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I try to share lots of content that's helpful, like unboxings, post reviews, um, tutorials and how to's, whip and chats, you name it. <laughs> I'm also very open to suggestions, of course, as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a really wonderful week and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye friends.